In this case, uh, we will to present Weka project with Diabetes dataset in Java. We will explain how to classify data with Weka and the precision of the predictions with a decision table. This is the source code of our project. In this section, we read the Diabetes dataset from a file located in our computer. We don't shuffle the data yet. This process will be done by Weka itself. So continue with the explanation. Here we read the data set and put in the data source. So the, we create the instance and collect in variable in data variable. So we show we we show the, the data set before the process of mix or shuffler and we can see this on on the read of the data set so we can we can see the five initial rows of our data set and later with the shuffler we can see we can see that the second part is different to the initial the so in this part we can apply the the process of randomization so um, continue we set uh, at index or class index with the num attributes um, with the data set so to validate our data set and the training of our model we, we use the cross validation to to this case we create the cross validation split method that receives two parameters the data set and the number of faults so we can explain this method so we we can see that we use two instances one to train and another to test and with a number of faults we create our data sets so continue <coughs> we can use models so in this case we use decision table and we can add another models so we can apply decision stamp that means a decision tree that one level so we can explain another methods we can use okay uh, in this case uh, we will explain uh, how it works the calculate accuracy method this method uh, receives a fast vector uh, as a parameter. In this case, our fast vector uh, is called predictions. These predictions, uh, it uh, the, the function, the functionality of this uh, of this method is collect each, each prediction uh, to calculate the final accuracy. So uh, we can train the system and uh, obtain uh, the accuracy of the of the cross validation to see if the if the system is uh, works uh, right okay so after do it this uh, all uh, methods and this uh, system it runs we can see the we can see the results 
of the precision. In this case, our precision is 74.48%. So it uh, it means that uh, we have an acceptable precision, and we can use this same method uh, to with uh, another data sets or type of data sets um, that uh, works in the real life. So. Um, we can add an explanation that how it works so with the nominal prediction uh, with the first vector uh, we can we can use the uh, nominal prediction predicted and the nominal prediction that that receives of data set so we can collect um, and put and, in, and increase this counter so uh, we have uh, the, the accuracy of this model so that's it